to make people contented with their servitude. I think this can be done. I think it has been done in the past, but and I think it could be done even more effectively now because you can provide them with bread and circuses and you can provide them with endless amounts of distractions and propaganda. One look at the psychiatric drug industry in America and it will be obvious that for millions of people, Aldous Huxley's brave new world is a functioning part of their everyday lives. Heavily influenced by Huxley, the reality portrayed by George Lucas in THX 1138 shows every move and emotion of an ordinary man or woman is controlled and regulated pharmaceutically. Ray Kurzweil believes that you'll be able to upload your personality, your consciousness to a computer. Once there, you'll be able to do anything you want, even talk to people who are long deceased. And of course, in Ray Kurzweil's case, he thinks he's going to be able to talk to his father who died decades ago. At one of the most powerful points in the film, Robin Wright exits the hallucinogenic animation and she finds herself in the real world where people are just roaming around in this gray, grim reality like inmates in an asylum because they really only exist in an entertainment coma. And so the question the Congress presents to us is, will people be willing to live in an entertainment utopia but where they're actually enslaved by technology? You know, technology is just a tool. It can be used for good or for evil. And Eisenhower warned us about this with the military-industrial complex, saying that it would take over research, that it would take over technology and use it for its own purposes. We've seen this happening as technology accelerates. It's increasingly being used for destruction and for distraction, not for production. It's being used to enslave us, not to serve us. The Congress could wake up some people about our obsession with entertainment, if only it were more entertaining. For InfoWars Nightly News, I'm David Knight. Thank you for tuning in to the InfoWars Nightly News. If you are watching us on YouTube, subscribe to the Alex Jones channel. Do it now. And then head over to prisonplanet.tv and become a subscriber there as well. You can get all sorts of content that you won't find on YouTube. And as always, you can share your username and password with up to 11 people at the same time. So it's 11 of you getting all the access that you need to fight the info war. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We'll see you here tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central. City of Austin tap water versus filtered City of Austin tap water. I can, like, taste dirt in it. God knows what's in this. This has an aftertaste. Tastes like Austin water? Yeah, it does. Ugh. These people just sampled City of Austin tap water straight from the faucet. Next, we had them try a sample of tap water filtered through the ProPure G2.0 filtration system. High quality H2O. That one is better. Tastes like nothing. Yep, I know what good water tastes like. It's good water. Most tap water contains added substances like fluoride, chlorine, Monsanto's deadly pesticide, glyphosate, and many others. Studies prove that these substances are linked to an assortment of major health issues, including tooth decay, lowered IQ, and even cancer. It tastes like you're drinking out of the lake when you're drinking tap water. It has uh, that uh, processed flavor to it. The ProPure G2.0 filtration system removes these deadly substances and many more, leaving only fresh tasting, deliciously clean water. Okay, this is very tasty. It's good water. Refreshing. It's good. <laughs> Go to InfoWarsStore.com today. Use promo code WATER and save 10% off your ProPure purchase. Again, that's InfoWarsStore.com or call 1-888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.